Margaret Thatcher was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. She was a seminal leader. Thatcher was born Margaret Roberts on October 13, 1925, in Grantham, England, to a family of grocers. Thatcher learned from her father, who was a conservative politician himself, to always say what you believe in, no matter what other people think. She attended Oxford University. She graduated in 1946 with a degree in chemistry. She worked for four years as a chemist, and during her free time, she studied law and subsequently passed the bar. In 1950, Thatcher made her first bid for Parliament and lost. The following year, she married Dennis Thatcher and began raising a family with the birth of twins in 1953. Margaret Thatcher won a seat in Parliament in 1959. She began a meteoric rise in terms of being able to articulate her particular vision. She felt that the state had become too involved in the economy and too involved in individuals' lives. Thatcher held a variety of ministry positions in government over the years. In 1975, she became head of her party and was elected prime minister in 1979. Margaret Thatcher was for the free market, for free capitalism, and against communism in all sorts and forms. And in the 1970s, she accused the Soviet Union of being bent on world domination. The Soviet press dubbed Thatcher the Iron Lady after a fiercely anti-communist speech she gave in 1976, and the name remained with her. She had a very strong set of principles. If you look at the Falklands War, no one ever thought that she would send the British Navy halfway around the world to claim these islands that very few people had ever heard of, but she did that, and she won the war, and it gave the country at that point a sense of pride again. The Falkland Islands were important to Margaret Thatcher for the basic issue of sovereignty. If there is a part of the world that is under the British flag, the British military will defend it as long as there were people in that land who claimed British citizenship. Margaret Thatcher was actually fairly unpopular before the war, and afterwards she won a landslide victory. During Thatcher's third term, her attempt to implement a fixed tax that was hugely unpopular led to her eventual resignation in November 1990. She then went on to write a series of memoirs and give public appearances and speaking engagements. Thatcher's life story was turned into a major motion picture in 2011, starring Meryl Streep, The Iron Lady. Margaret Thatcher was Britain's longest serving prime minister in more than 100 years. She led her country out of a recession, through a war and left an indelible mark on British and global politics. There are still those who think that she stayed too long, that hubris overcame her, that she could only see it her way. But I think she'll be remembered as a great leader of Great Britain during a difficult time. Mark Twain is now thought of as America's first celebrity because he was so good at capturing the public imagination and it became important to him to have a public image. 